Hey, what's up? I'm going over all the new and updated guns in Arid. Uh, starting off with the SLVA. This is an AS Val, I guess. Weird iron sights, not gonna lie. Uh, it can have a dovetail attachment, but nothing else, and it's internally suppressed. Also, it uses a new uh, covert uh, magazine type, which is intermediate. I think there's only the standard 22 round size, no drum mags or anything, but pretty cool. And now the Kalikov. Uh, this was actually in the game before, but now it's a secondary weapon. It used to be uh, 2x4 slots, meaning it was only a primary weapon, but now it's 2x3, so you can put it in your secondary slot, which I think is honestly a very good improvement. Because the Kalikov is basically a worse Zalash, so it wouldn't make sense using that over a Zalash. And this doesn't have any attachments besides the magazine, but uh, you can upgrade it with a weapon modification kit and give it a real attachment. And now onto the SPS 17, you can actually craft these two with a special SPS-17 weapons kit that you can find, and then you can just craft it. I don't think you can find it anymore, just pre-built. You have to craft it yourself. The golden versions of all guns do uh, slightly more damage. See, this does 28, and then this does 30. But the way that they're changed is now they have a two-shot burst. Now into the TKB Proto. This is basically just the old TKB. Technically it's new, but I'm pretty sure it's just the same thing. Uh, I guess it doesn't have iron sights actually, but um, yeah, apart from that, yeah, I think it's just the same gun. And now the Zalashni. Uh, it's basically an RPK. It comes with an extended Zalash mag, and you can put dovetail attachments on it. I think it also does a little bit more damage. I'm not really sure how much the normal Zalash does, but it seems higher. Seems to fire slower, but I think it has better recoil. So next is the Vintar. This uses the same covert mag as the SOVA, and it also has a uh, modification that I guess you just get with the weapon modification kit. Uh, so I'm going to use this one. It seems like it has a tactical attachment, and it comes with a foregrip. And the Vintar is semi-automatic only, and it's also internally suppressed. Next is the SAR-16. I'm pretty sure it's basically just a KARG-15, or whatever the airdrop AR-15 thing is. Um, it's also semi-automatic only. Kind of a lot of recoil. Next is the, I guess, MI-10, or it's an M110, pretty much. Uh, it uses DMR mag, so the same one as the DMR-280 and the EBR-280. Uh, looks pretty sick, in my opinion. The scope's a little bit weird looking. This is just the one it comes with, though, the Phantom scope. It has a muzzle attachment and a tactical attachment. Oh. <laughs> quite like the firing sound on this, actually. It does good damage. The damage is pretty good. I one-shot that zombie with a helmet. Next is the Law, which is a single-shot, unreloadable uh, anti-vehicle launcher. So uh, I'm just going to use it on this Euro. I'm pretty sure it's going to one-shot it. Yeah. Um, so after this, you just scrap it. It gives a little bit of resources. Oops. And next is the SV-68. I don't know if this thing's actually new or not. The model is definitely new. I'm pretty sure this is a copy of the old SV-68, which is now called the M-68, I think. Um, yeah, pretty much just a bolt-action rifle with decent damage. It uses uh, intermediate 
ammo in recon mags. So, kind of interesting. It's like a mid-tier sniper, I guess. Oh, wow, what? Didn't even one-shot that guy with the hat. Bro, what? This thing's weak. Wow, okay, that's very odd. Well, anyways, here's the Pro 90. There's already multiple Pro 90s, but this one's pink, so uh, I thought I'd include it. Next is the PDW. I believe you also get this the same way as the SPS, where you have to find the parts kit and then you have to craft it. And uh, this uses AR magazines, and I think it's based off of a honey badger. Seems pretty decent. It's a secondary weapon too, I should mention, so... And now finally is the Sabo MG. I honestly have no idea where you get this thing from. If you know, please tell me in a comment below because I want to make a video on how to get it because I think it's a very interesting gun. So firstly, it's a secondary weapon, just like the uh, PDW, but it also has a 250 round drum magazine. Surprisingly good at hip fire too. It has very low recoil. Uh, no attachments. I'm not even sure how to refill this thing because it uses Sabo ammo. Except I don't know how to even get that. I don't know if you can craft that with the. Uh, oh, there's a lot. I don't know if you can craft that with the uh, reloading tools or anything. It does very low damage, and it also does structure damage, which is pretty interesting. I guess it's kind of like a beefed up version of the Pro 90, where it has a large magazine and a secondary with low damage and a fast fire with a, a low recoil. So yeah, that's about it. See ya.